Libra, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, this will be uh, for the third week of March. I hope you're doing amazing, Libra. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for all the good stuff. So I've been pre-shuffling and shuffling and I will dive straight into your reading. All right, just bear with me. I'm using the Babylonian Tarot deck. It is from Roxana Paul. It is from Etsy and it's my favorite deck. <laughs> All right, Libra, I'm ready to do your reading. Please like, subscribe and uh, share the video if this reading resonates, especially with your situation. So Libra, there is the moon here. The moon can give an anxiety as well. It's kind of something that feels uncertain. It's like an aftermath of a tower. Maybe you're waiting for another tower, like with a hangman. It is a kind of an uncomfortable period, but you are moving ahead. You're moving calmly ahead, Libra. Now there is someone that is thinking about you. Uh, they are thinking about good times. Uh, they hold a love in their heart for you. This person could have Scorpio in their chart, Libra. This person is someone that, yeah, definitely heavy Scorpio. They desire to move forward. They could have Aries in their chart. I see that this person, uh, well and truly, is on their way over to you, Libra. I see that there is possibilities of a new chapter. There is um, feelings that have not been expressed, Libra, between you and this person. Um, yeah, there is a... Um, yeah, a lot of unspoken feelings in this union. Now, with a death card here um, showing up in this person's reading, they might have endured a painful ending. And um, yeah, they might have been resting. They might have, there is always recovery after the death. There is a, like a big change that's happened in their life. They're ready for a new beginning uh, once they have recovered and they want this new beginning to be with you. Now, this person here, they might have been a victim of a very toxic situation, like a difficult situation to recover from. It might not have anything to do with love, but it was a difficult situation and it took them a while to move ahead. This person is, um, yeah, they... They definitely love you, Libra, this person. Um, yeah, they think of you a lot. Maybe some of you have a dog, dogs. <laughs> this person, they do want to fight for this, uh, a beautiful new beginning in their life. Maybe they stayed too long in a situation that wasn't really going anywhere. I think that's what happened with them. They didn't, they stayed in a situation where they felt, or oh, maybe they, there was material gain or something about just staying there for the sake of it and uh, it wasn't the best decision they've been through the ringer they have sacrificed their happiness and they are yeah it's like they are really weathered from being in this place now i'm seeing that um with a sun card um this person is seeing now hope like just to to start over to to move ahead they're trying to balance two worlds, basically. They might be on the move. They might be moving away from an old life into the new life. And they're trying to find their feet. But what is quite short from their side is that they're coming towards you, uh, Libra. This person can have Pisces in their chart. They're trying to find their feet, trying to open up. This person could be a little bit bruised as they come towards you. I'm picking up um, uh, Leo. Cancer energy here and definitely Pisces as well as Scorpio. Now, um, for you, Libra, I'm going to see here with the judgment. Something is going to come to light in your situation. Um, you're going to see something with different eyes. I'm picking up that Libra. So um, we have the nine of wands. It's something very difficult to endure. You're quite tired of the situation. It's... Um, yeah, it's a difficult situation here. And now, your patience is virtue. You've gone through the ringer as well in a situation. You have been healing from a broken relationship, perhaps, or a difficult situation. 
a difficult period. There's something about healing, patience, yin and yang. If you um, if you were holding on to kind of just uh, it could be even something like you know it's like life happened and there's been um, there's something that you have your own demons to conquer. It doesn't have to do with love necessarily, Libra. It can be to do with your own demons, your own ego, your own feeling lost. Um, there could have been a connection that you were in where you felt that afterwards. So there is some kind of different feelings that you have experienced, Libra. But I see for many of you, it is actually a relationship that really wounded you. It really, it's, uh, it scarred you. It, uh, you could have been dealing with someone with a, a mask, someone that was difficult to deal with. They were wearing like a lot of chaos. This person is, um, they, they caused like a lot of, and um, like they could have affected your health, just could have caused you to drink more or it's just something about their energy is very, it's like making, making me feel anxious. Um, it's, yeah, it's something about like when you were involved with this person, this energy, Libra, it was just like eating you up. You felt like you could never heal. You felt like always you had to, it's something about their energy. It's like, it doesn't even need to be something they do towards you. It's just something about the background energy even. But you are taking your time and you are, um, you are definitely healing uh, Libra and feeling stronger, holding back. Someone here is trying to um, hold on to you, really. But I see that you are releasing. You ha you're going to have a, a victory releasing an energy, Libra. Yeah, and start your new beginning. A new beginning here is also could seem very playful. So just as you're about to take that leap and, and round up the chapter, there is possibly someone here that's trying to come in for a, a last hurrah in a way, even though you have moved on with them, but is trying to come in out, out of the cold or trying to start talking to you again. But, you know, it's already too late because you have already decided to move forward. So... Uh, Your next um, move, Libra, it will be going towards commitment. You'll rather take your time. Um, it seems like you have, yeah, it's like you know that you need a little bit more time. You need a little bit more time for you time. And you also want to enjoy, for those of you that have come out of a, let's say, or just moved on and healed your heart from a situation that's difficult, that might not be love, it can be, but like a difficult situation where it's like, because the devil is often pain, and especially with the nine of wands, it could just be like a lot of turmoil, like a lot of triggers, right? It can be all kinds of situations. Those kind of situations is tiring, can lead to burnout. So it could be certain situation that is just one thing led after the other, and you just feel like very like tired in, in a way. And, and I see that it has to do with just like not thinking about a commitment, not... Yeah, not really focusing on a commitment, but just focusing on healing your heart, healing your wounds in a way. Because when you have healed your wounds, you can see clearly and you know where you're going. Mm, yeah, there's someone around you. I'm going to, to pull up a few more cards. <clears throat> someone is trying to keep you bound and not start a new beginning 
They know that you are a catch. They know that there are many that would want a future with you and they know that you are moving forward. This person here could be a fire sign. They're trying to hold you back. This person here is very, very attracted to you. But there is two people here. So you could also have fire element in your chart, but there is two people. So I see that um, someone could be, yeah, something about someone trying to sabotage uh, someone's success, perhaps. But they're not going to be successful. Someone's trying to be strate uh, strategic here as well. There's like too many people, too many energies around here. I know you, a Libra, are social butterflies, but yeah, there is two people very interested, finding you very, very attractive. You could end up going towards um, an Aquarius, especially if you have water elements in your chart. Some of you could have a Gemini or Leo trying to um, come back and you know kind of you want to move away from the Leo, but uh, this person is still there. Hmm. Sorry, just pausing. Um, trying to make sense out of it. See, there is a person around you, Libra, that is um. You close the chapter with them, and you they know that you have started your new beginning. But there is someone here, something to do with the fire sign, like they they started there could be an Aries. They started their new beginning, and yeah, that's all good. And and you could have wished them well and all that. Yeah, you wish them good. You just said, you know, okay, great. But then this person, they want to be in your life still. They want to give to you. They want to be in touch. But then you are different. You rather, you know, you rather just move on from them full stop because you only want to focus on one one person if you are prioritizing love. And I think that person will be an Aquarius. It's a, it's a very strong uh, connection here. And I see that you are healing your heart. This person is coming towards you. Yeah, it's a very, um, it's, they're coming towards you at the right time. Maybe at the time where both of you have given up on love or not even looking for love. Yeah, I do see someone here that is, um, yeah, so uh, don't rush anything, uh, Libra. Something is coming together here and something that you want. Someone that's really immature is trying to keep you stuck on them and they're trying to sort of keep you, it could also be a Pisces that someone is uh, preventing someone to move forward for some of you, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Someone could be trying to lie, something about trying to keep keep someone stuck. But for the most part, Libra, I'm seeing that you are, you've gone through the hurdles and you have been healing. It could be some of you, like there could be a bit of excess social life, like it's all good, it's great, but maybe you're doing it to an excess. So it's like hold back on that. It's just like, it could wear you down a little bit. There is someone that has feelings for you. Uh, again, I'm picking up. It could be an Aquarius that is worth exploring. This person here is someone that is a businessman, businesswoman. Uh, this person have really good intentions. This person could offer you a... It's a very loving uh, relationship. It could be a contrast to someone that you have been spending time with. That is a fire sign for some of you. Uh, the previous relationship that you've had could be very uh, sex-based, basically, uh, and you might have compared everything to them, even though they were not the ideal partner. Yeah, it's like a strong, it's something about the codependency there. So it's a comfort zone as well, perhaps a bit of codependency.
Mm. It says take care of yourself, heal yourself. Also try to turn down outside noise. There's always someone trying to intervene, trying to poke in you. There could be, yeah, there is like a lot of people could be trying to give you their burdens. You know, it's very, you know, it's not uncommon. Sometimes when you give a little bit and then someone wants you to, you know, take care of everything. Like, yeah, it's uh, the five of wands can be quite it's like a selfish energy. Someone know that uh, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius uh, or a um, Leo, uh, they already know it's ended, but they're trying to sort of hang on to your energy. But I, I don't see, yeah, I, I think that you have been distancing yourself from this person um, here, Libra. I do see that Ten of Pentacles, uh, they do feel very hurt because they, they thought that it's going to be you and them <laughs> coming back together. This could have been a codependent situation and they thought like you and them would always get back together. Like you will always keep in touch. But suddenly is this a new person coming into your life, uh, Libra. And you can't really compare this to anyone else. This is someone that truly will support you, truly will like give you everything that, you know, fulfill you basically. And it has to do with your healing as well. Yeah, passion, worth waiting for. Yeah, exactly. There is someone here that is well and truly worth waiting for. You could have different religious backgrounds, um, someone that is different than you. Yeah, I see that this person that's coming into your life is going to change the, it's going to put in perspective that perhaps you've had a codependent relationship. Um, yeah, and as you're releasing them, I really feel that. But you kind of have to explore I feel like there is a connection you need to explore to see the difference. But you could feel bound to not um, share with this person, this fire sign that you're moving forward. Because they kind of keep tabs on you. But I see that Libra, it's like you, there is a really very much of a codependent situation. I've put a few more cards. Mm -hmm. okay yeah be careful with that there's something about karma around you see someone here could be quite narcissistic it could be um yeah there's a situation here it could be with the gemini another libra or leo or scorpio someone could be going through an ending with a scorpio someone could be following this person over to when they are watching them moving towards you even if they don't know you yeah there is someone is moving behind someone i think someone is moving behind a king of swords king or, or queen of swords someone is moving behind this person following them to you even if you don't know them so be careful of that because someone is prepared to sort of barge in something to do with the gemini female yeah gemini female is coming up strong or Pisces female, like it's a, it's quite hectic or, or cancer, something about hectic, someone that like they don't care who, where someone goes, they will just turn off, right? So they could, they're ruining for the person. So you could meet a complete new person and then this person just turns up out of nowhere, causing some kind of drama. They could drink a lot. They do whatever it takes to have attention. Yeah, someone is following either an Aquarius Pisces, a Pisces is following someone. It's like following someone or, or a fire sign is following someone. It's someone here that is sort of going towards your Leo, rushing in, but then behind them, you open the door and you're like, oh yeah, nice to meet you. And then someone is like, boom, in your way. Something about, yeah, this person had many options, but they see you as the one they want to be with, they see you as happiness, Libra, yeah, with the justice. But someone they're leaving out in the cold for this new beginning, someone is absolutely livid. So but you watch out for that. 
you don't want to have that energy uh, at the doorstep so it's it's as if you are yeah you know, okay maybe you don't have to check this person's intentions but who's behind them they have a bit of ruckus behind them it's some kind of drama they are bringing up oh, sorry yeah that's that's what i'm seeing like this person that's coming towards you very sweet but behind them there's like a whole drama it's almost like you get the whole family or there's some kind of rage and they it's like you could well take the advice from this reading you could just be like fine get to know them because it's like you don't might not want to get close to them as, exactly at this time because it's something very stressful that is like you don't want to be part of something stressful when you just meet someone that type of vibe so you could sort of dodge a bullet in a way but um yeah it's uh but this person have intentions of moving forward like it's a very happy time but it's about the timing there's some kind of tower moment going around here as well it could be around you as well libra so it's that is a beautiful connection coming together you know where you're going you know where you like you're healing and, and all that is is great but then there is this okay when you start off a new beginning with someone just uh it's like that new beginning you want that you want your path to be clear and you want to feel 100% it's it's more so that yeah getting into that energy will will just make sure that the new beginning is extra special and yeah it's like laid on the like a foundation because someone here will try to sabotage and they don't deserve to get that attention that's what I'm seeing someone don't deserve to get the attention they are trying to get so I hope some of this resonated um so uh, yeah, sorry for being a little bit slow. I'm not feeling 100% well today. That's why as well. But uh, yeah, these were your messages. Libra, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, do share the video and leave a comment.